Yeah. Hey y'all, what is up and welcome back to my channel for an apartment renovation. So today we are renovating this apartment. Um, I forget what it's called, but it's the Cheek Streak apartment, I believe, in the Fashion District. And this is a special little apartment renovation. This is renovated for my generation two of my current household which i'm doing the not so very challenge so i will be doing an update on where i'm at in this you know current household and challenge uh, very soon so if you have not checked my first update current household that i did a few months ago with generation one be sure to check that out because i'm about to do a little bit of explaining on this sim um just so you kind of know where we're at and what the plan is. But anyways, I love how her apartment turned out. I think it is so warm and so cozy. And obviously, she is the rose generation. So rose, you can either do like red rose or like a pink rose. But I obviously think of like a red rose. And the way I like to play the not so berry generation um, is I don't give them the rose hair, the colored hair. And... I'm not very anal about their clothing being, you know, all the same color. Um, but as far as, like, their their house, I kind of like to furnish it around um, that color scheme. So, she is rose, so there is a lot of red in her apartment, which I think is really, really nice. And then her mother, which was Air One, her house, um, she's the mint generation, so her house was kind of like a turquoise. I had a lot of blue. wasn't really like mint, but you know, you can go either way with mint. You can go mint green or winter looking turquoise mint. So, uh, yeah, it kind of resembles the house. But like I said, I'm not being too anal about it. It's mainly just about setting the goals and completing the um, generations and their to-do lists and what all they need to accomplish, which is stuff that I've never played in the game. And I really did not think that I was going to enjoy it because I was like, no, it's limited to me. I can't story tell. Oh, no, I'm having so much pl fun playing this in my spare time. I'm attached to this family. I have, you know, been playing with them even the her brother which he was the firstborn I just imagined the second generation would be a female so he was a firstborn um so he is her older brother which you met him in the last current household update he's married now he has a baby on the way he's my baby he's taken up to his mom he wants to be a scientist and then Madeline which we did meet as well in the last current household if you want to go ahead and check that out so you kind of know who she is um, anyway she is a young adult now and currently as I was furnishing this she does not live in this apartment yet she was not currently moved in but um, she was getting ready to move that that coming up weekend <laughs> I was trying to accomplish one more thing with her mother and um, the stuff that she needed to complete in her generation before I decided to move Madeline out and focus on her solely but since I have been playing with Madeline since she was like a child like a toddler since she was born basically um I was able to work on her as well so I feel like she's already kind of ahead of the game when it comes to her in the challenge you know like her skills and her career you know she's she's grinding she's doing pretty good and we'll talk about that when i do the um current household update but anyways she is a politician that is generation two um so i decided to take her in the direction of the nonprofit um charity organizing branch of the politician career I just imagined that that would suit her a little bit better. I don't see her wanting to be like president or anything like that, but um, just wanting to really be, you know, um, into nonprofit and organizing and stuff like that. And it really makes sense because her friend, her actually, it's actually her best friend, her name is Nancy Ward. And growing up, you know, Nancy was, was her friend since childhood, you know. I didn't really put two and two together, but Nancy Ward is actually Judith Ward's daughter. So in the save file I am playing in, uh, Judith had a daughter, and her name was Nancy. And I, <laughs> I had no idea she wasn't, like, famous or anything because I had um, the 
the fame turned off. I have it turned back on now, but it was turned off. So once she invited us over to her house as like a young adult, I was like, oh my God, we are at Judith Ward's house. And anyways, Judith had ended up passing away. But yeah, so Madeline is best friends with a star. She's a rising star. I had her. I went into her household and kind of set her, take after her mom. So her best friend is a famous actress. So she does, you know, know a lot of people. And I just imagine that that made sense. You know, she is very popular. She's socially gifted. I had her complete the social aspiration as a child, so she's very socially gifted. She has a lot of friends. Very, very popular. Very beautiful, and I just imagine that, you know, her, you know, being the socialite that she is, she would be perfect in that career branch where she is able to, you know, organize profits for like her celebrity friends and just really be into that side of the politician career so that makes a lot of sense for her in my opinion it didn't specify in the rules if it should be um the political like president branch or the nonprofit. so yeah i don't i, don't, I didn't see that in the rules but i could be wrong but that's the route i decided to go it just made more sense for madeline um currently she is in a relationship. She is on level three of the serial romantic aspiration. So like I said, I've been playing her for a while since she was a teenager. I kind of started her with her boyfriends and stuff like that as a teenager. Got a little head start on that because I really didn't think I was going to complete her mother's generation um, uh, and all of her goals just because I started with her as a young adult and mastering the scientist career and finding the elements and mastering all those skills. It really put a toll on me. It was I almost gave up if it wasn't for like this family that I created um, and the bond I have with them I probably would have given up but I pushed forward and I really was excited to tell Madeline's story and get into her generation so yeah she is pretty much on up there but she is in a relationship with this guy his name is Lee or Sullivan Lee yeah Sullivan Lee <laughs> it's kind of backwards you would think Sullivan will be his last name but um, he's just a random guy that I got from the gallery. He is so good looking. Obviously, I wanted her child to have good genes. So, I, I really wanted her to get pregnant by somebody nice looking because she is a serial romantic. So, she has a lot of um, flirtation ships with a lot of different sims and everything. And ultimately, she just doesn't want to settle down because she's so focused on her career. But she actually had the desire to get engaged to Sullivan. And I just recently played this out. Um, so, I, I wasn't going to have her get engaged to Sullivan. I was going to have her get pregnant by him and then not want to be with him and then get engaged later on down the road when her child is already born. But because they kind of fell for each other so fast um, and she wanted to be engaged, I had him propose. So, they are engaged at the moment. Obviously, she's going to leave him at the altar. Spoiler alert, because it is part of the rules. Um, and the way I'm thinking of playing Playing this out, I do have my risky woohoo on five percent, uh, which isn't a lot, but it happens. That's how her mother got pregnant with her older brother first. That was um, before her and her mom got married. Not her, her mom and dad got married. There you go. Uh, so it, it wasn't necessarily planned, but you know, just, if you woohoo often on five percent, you're going to get pregnant eventually. So. Yeah, I imagine that they're going to be engaged for a little bit. He is an astronaut. He's in the astronaut career because the third generation wants to, you know, be an astronaut. And they want to, you know, kind of be like their grandma, which is a scientist. But I really wanted, you know him or her, whoever the child is, to have a relationship with his dad too and have a bond with him. He'll go visit his dad or she will go visit her dad. I want Sullivan to stay in the picture. Um, but I would imagine that they would get to the ceremony. She realizes I can't do this. She leaves him at the altar. Boom. She finds out after the fact I'm pregnant. So she left him at the altar. Oh, I'm pregnant with your child. So you can imagine um, the heartache that Sullivan would feel, but that's what I'm planning. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm on, I'm working on that. I am. <laughs> but yeah, so when I did the current household update, hopefully the third generation, which is her only child that she'll ever have, she's only allowed to have one child, will be born and you can meet them. I'm going to let it be a boy or a girl based on whatever she gets pregnant with. I'm not going to cheat. Um, I don't, I'm not following all girl, all boy air rule. It's just going to be whoever is born. Like, for example, her brother was the first born, but... I imagine that the second generation suited a female lead more. 
uh, or female heir more. So thankfully, when Maya got pregnant again, she had Madeline, and it was perfect, worked out fine. So the sec, the third generation. It could go either way for me, in my opinion. I could see it being a boy. I could see it being a girl. It doesn't matter. So just whoever, whatever she gets pregnant with, that will be our third generation. And so hopefully by the time I do the update, he or she will be born and you can see where we're at. Um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun with this challenge. And I think it's just because I'm not pressured to upload it and share it with everybody all the time. <laughs> it's just kind of me playing in my spare time. And I play and storytell in a challenge just as much as I would just a storytelling LP. Because I love to storytell. So when I play in my spare time, you know, current households, I'm like storytelling in my head. Like my Sims are having conversations in my head. I get so into it. It's kind of crazy, but I love Madeline. I didn't think I was really going to like this generation just because I'm not into the whole serial romantic thing. Um, but sh I like her. I really do. She's complex. She's very beautiful. She's just a character. I, I don't know. I just, I like it. I'm having so much fun, you guys. <laughs> but also, keep in mind that this apartment that I'm furnishing, um, I did not include the floor plan, which I tried to include floor plans for the apartments that I renovate, but I'm playing in a save file. I don't know whose save file it is. I forget. If I can find out whose it is, I will put it down in the description. But anyways, they have, you know, lots filled up with Sims and everything and most of the apartments that is in the safe aisle was already renovated very nicely so this was the floor plan for this apartment and I like the floor plan I thought it was perfect I really wanted something that was two or three bedroom because she is going to have a child eventually but I wanted her to also have kind of like an office space so this worked out perfectly um, so keep in mind that that is why I did not include the floor plan also um, I did leave in the bedroom and downstairs um, on a few shelves, like um, end tables. I left a little bit of blank space, and that's because I have the functional photo album, or not photo album, photo frame mod, um, that I'm going to have her go into her personal inventory, and, you know, when she moves into this apartment, she will have pictures of her and her friends and her family, so that's why I kind of left some of the walls blank, because she has a lot in her inventory when she moves in I want to pull out and decorate with. Um, so yeah, keep that in mind. And then also, <laughs> I just had this blank little room here. It's not decorated if you want to download this house. Sorry, but it's for her child <laughs> and it's not born yet. So it's blank. And then one more thing before I wrap this up, I forgot to do the balcony on camera, but I did it off camera. So if you download this apartment in the gallery, there will be a balcony and it is decorated. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not. And with that being said, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.